Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? My name is Smudge and welcome back to another video. This is another episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Days. And if you guys don't know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days is, let me explain my friend. Tinder Tasty Tea Days is when the family and I come together and we get lit. We rate Wizard 101 stitches sent in by you guys via Twitter. If you're interested in submitting a stitch like my girl Kennedy did for today, all you gotta do is head over to Twitter, make a post, make sure your stitch is in the post using the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Write a little message, make sure you at me, and I will see you. And also, there's some new news today, my friend. New news. I'm gonna be starting a new event called Stitch Off. Stitch Off is gonna be a stitch competition held by Moa, your king himself, where you guys compete to see who has the best stitch. If you're interested in submitting a stitch for Stitch Off, it's a little bit different from Tinder Tasty Tea Days. All you gotta do is go into the Discord server, drop your stitch in there, and that's really about it. From all the stitches that people send, I will be picking out three, and then the community will vote on those three stitches. Whoever wins, wins, and the prize is Fitty Bone my friend 50 bone you can get that either cash out paypal or i'll just gift you 50 dollars worth of items and wizard one-on-one -on -one, whatever it is bro there you go now that we got everything out of the way except one more thing i'm doing a merch giveaway so you guys you want free clothes huh you want some free smojo i know you do i know you do if you're interested in entering the merch giveaway uh links will be down in the description and that's it that's it that's all that's all now let's get into the actual video my friend we are going to be looking at a stitch sent in by your girl crazy kennedy shout out to crazy kennedy she's amazing she watches my videos and she's awesome she supports and everything she submitted stitches god tier person kennedy god tier person but yeah we're gonna be looking at a stitch sent in by crazy kennedy kennedy said over at twitter at smojo sf here's my storm stitch i hope you like it hashtag tinder tasty tea day now can we just put in can we can we just give kennedy some credit for the amount of effort she actually put into this photo now you guys don't do this i know before my hiatus on tinder tasty tea days i was talking about how the background mattered and the mount mattered and those things do matter however they're not going to afflict your your rating or anything like that so uh but yeah if you guys want to do something like that that would be dope um, but really the only thing I'm looking for is your stitch and that's really about it But yeah, the amount of work Kennedy put into this picture is actually pretty lit She got the background a little storm background She got the mount picture with the pet picture all of those things combined, you know I, I really like it Kennedy. So thank you for that If you guys don't know how we rate wizard one on one stitches look at the top right up there You see those emojis those emojis matter the eyes is basically uh, does the stitch look good? You know in, in general does the stitch look pleasing to the eye and then the brain is does it make sense? Does it use like the same cloth, you know? You know what I mean? Do you have metal with cloth or cloth? You know what I mean? Does it actually make sense for those pieces of gear to actually work and mesh and, and look good together? And then the star is how unique the gear is. Is it hard to get the gear? Is it easy to get the gear? You know, just the uniqueness uh, in general of the gear. And then the 100 is all the ratings uh, combined together for your overall final rating. So yeah, we're gonna be starting off with the eyes first. Does it look nice? I'm gonna be honest with you, Kennedy. Your gear does look pretty cool. You know what I mean? It, it's not bad. It's, it's really not bad. I wouldn't say it's perfect. You know how I am. I wouldn't say it's perfect but it's not a bad stitch at all now the only reason why i say it's not perfect is mainly because of one thing in particular um you got the hats the robe and the boots different color schemes different like the hat and the boots they they work they go together but the the robe the robe has a completely different color scheme than the hats in the boots i mean it kind of works you know what i mean because it's you know blue different shades but it's blue or purple or whatever but it's 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 different for you know what i mean it, it like you look at it and like oh okay i see what they're trying to do it works but then again on the other side it's like eh, it don't really work you know it doesn't mesh but i mean it looks it looks decent i wouldn't say it looks amazing it, it, it looks decent one thing that i do want to say is your pet though i feel like your pet meshes with the robe more than your boots and your hat you know what i mean it, the pet and the robe I feel like those two work, but the boots and the hat, those two work together as well, but the, it's like two different things kind of, and they're clashing. You got the boots and the hat over here, and you got the pet and the robe over here, and he, you know, it's just, it's just not working. Then you got the wand. You, I think you're using the, the bolt wand. Yeah, that bolt, I, I, I don't like the wand. I'm not, I, it's a storm wand and everything, but I, I just don't, it just doesn't fit the stitch in my opinion. I do like the fact that you had the mount though, the storm mount. I really do like that. That The storm mount is actually dope. The storm mount looks very nice with your boots and your robe. I mean, not the boots and the robe, but the boots and the hat. The storm one looks nice with the boot and the hat. Everything else, I don't think the mount really works for it, but overall, you know what I mean? As for looks go, I'm gonna give you like a solid six out of 10. I was maybe a 6.5, but I don't wanna do decibels no more. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with a six out of 10 for overall looks. 
If you had like a different wand that worked better with your overall attire, I would have bumped it up a little bit more. And then if you had the robe and the, the pet that matched with everything, that would have been like a, a good solid nine or 10. But yeah, six out of 10. Now for uh, doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah, your gear makes sense. I mean, it's all made out of cloth. None of it doesn't look like it doesn't make sense. Now, however, I feel like with that robe, I feel like with that robe, it might have been better to use boots like different types of boots like like let's say jungle boots like you know how you go in the jungle you got some boots with the like hella shoe strings that go all the way up to your damn knee something like that would have been better in my opinion just because of the, the type of pants that Alyssa is wearing she's like wearing like some cargo pants or something like that but i would have probably put boots on her instead of the big fluffy thingies you know what i mean um but that's really about it other than that i feel like everything kind of just goes together and meshes and i really don't have a problem with it so for on the doesn't make sense side i think i'm gonna give you a solid seven out of ten on that one now is it unique you're gonna lose this is where everyone loses points you're gonna lose some points on here now now the main unique thing on your on your on your stitch i believe is your robe not a lot of people will take their time out their day to go actually do that freaking lame freak i think it's lame lame little mini game to do the robe so i give you props on that your robe is unique you don't see it often and i like that one versus the other one that a lot of people use um the blue one i think it looks nice so yeah i'm gonna give you some points on that now we all know the insignia boots and the insignia hat we, we all know we've seen it a million times we all know it so that's definitely not unique and then your wand i believe you get that wand from the crown shop i could be wrong I could be wrong, but I think I've seen it in a crown shop a few times. So, I mean, that's kind of in the middle, you know, it's not really unique, but it's not like, you know, you go inside of the shopping district and you buy something, you know what I mean? It's not down bad, unique, you know what I mean? But yeah, overall, I think I'm gonna give you like a solid, I'm, I'm gonna give you a five out of 10 on this one, Kennedy. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna give you a five out of 10. I like the robe, everything else, not really unique to me. Not really unique to me. I mean, the pets kind of did, but you know, not really unique to me. You know what I mean? I'm going to give you a solid five out of 10. I, f I feel like we've everything you have on, we've seen before, except of the robe, which is pretty unique. That's where the five points is coming in from. So I'm going to give you a five out of 10 on that one. Overall, your rating is going to come down to a six out of 10. Not bad, you know what I mean? But definitely, definitely could be better. If I was you, I would probably change out that hat, those boots, and I would change out the wand to something else that matches the color scheme of your robe slash your pet, if I were you, you know what I mean? And maybe find a different mount as well. Uh, or you could just switch out the robe, but then you still would use, you would lose uniqueness points because the boots and the hat we kind of seen already. So yeah. But other than that, I think it's an okay stitch, you know, it's decent, you know, I wouldn't say it's God tier, but you know, six out of 10, not bad. Uh, but yeah, thank you for submitting your stitch. If you guys want to submit your stitch to Tinder Tasty T days, all you got to do is head over to Twitter. You know, the deal, you know, the dizzle, I see it in the beginning of the video. Make sure you do that guy. And, uh, if you want to submit a stitch for stitch off, go to the discord. It's there. Everything is there. So please do that. And don't forget the merch giveaway either. I got to remember to say those things. Don't forget free, free clothes. Who doesn't like free clothes?